So a bit uh, about a week and a half ago, nine days ago, I got a comment, hey buddy, can you tell how to block autoplay on Chromium? So this is basically on one of the um like multiple browser videos that I did on like <clears throat> where I talked about multiple different browsers, like and that kind of a thing back during a while ago. So basically this is kind of one of those things where it's more or less like user scripts is what's going to do that for you. Because, I mean, in things like, oh, cute browser, it's going to be pretty simple. You basically just go and you can set the setting in your configuration. And you can set it so that nothing auto-plays. So across the board, it'll basically, like, any videos that might normally auto-play, it should block those. It won't work 100% of the time, but it will work pretty well. But in Chromium, it there isn't exactly a setting for, like, stopping videos from auto-playing. There's one for, like, playing sounds that prevents websites from playing sounds, but other than that, when it comes to video, those, if it's set to autoplay, it will. I believe YouTube has settings where, you, like, you can change it from autoplaying and stuff like that. But like I mentioned, basically your best bet is to kind of, like, go through, like, your user scripts. The user JavaScript files that you can install into GreaseMonkey or whatever. And ba there are just a whole ton of them that people have done. Just for YouTube, different YouTube problems alone. And so you've got like the ad blocker stuff, which you can use uBlock Origin for to block ads. So you don't really need that per se, but you can have it for YouTube if you want just YouTube ads blocked, which if you're blocking YouTube ads, then you're probably blocking ads across the board. So you've got an ad blocker installed and a pretty good one, I hope. But other than that, you've got, like, buffering and things like that. And user scripts help kind of, like, aid in that kind of a thing. <clears throat> and so you can sit here and go through all the YouTube stuff. That's kind of, like, your best bet is, like, figure out what works on, like, your setup. And you should be good to go. Um, the user script manager that I recommend is Violent Monkey. It's kind of similar to Grease Monkey, but Grease Monkey, I believe, which, or Tamper Monkey, one of the two was kind of switching to a more closed source um, standard, and Violent Monkey is still open source and still does that, so that's what I use to manage my user scripts. So I've only got a couple installed, really. So I've got one for Discord that basically sets the oh, theme for Discord and then a redirect that basically what this does is it redirects any Wikipedia links to Info Galactic. So when it sees one, it'll basically automatically go to Info Galactic with the same article. Um, in a couple of... So if we go to, uh, so those are examples of things you can do with user scripts, actually, is like theming, redirect, and like blocking ads and things like that. So I've shown it off previously. I don't know why I closed this, but if we go back to my config for cute browser, I believe user scripts, you can see I've got... The use these user scripts installed. Um, Grease Monkey. So for this one, this is the ad skip that basically automatically skips oh YouTube ads because currently ad blocking in Cute Browser is still kind of iffy, and so this basically automatically clicks the skip button when it's typically not available. So if we go, I think it's in cache now. Or where was it? Dot local. 
Yeah, here it is. Okay, so the other things I have is so I have an ArchWiki dark theme. So again, it, user scripts you can use to change the themes of websites, functionality, and things like that. Um, you've also got the Frankerface Z injector, which is you can inst comes as a plugin for Chrome, Chromium, or what have you. But in some cases, you may need to do install it manually. And so in Cute Browser, I have Frankerface Z for Twitch Chat installed. So I could see all the Frankerface Z emotes if I opened up Twitch Chat instead of Restream Chat. And then I've also got the Nyancat YouTube oh, progress bar, which you've seen in oh, some of the other things where I've shown YouTube videos in Vivaldi and stuff like that. So I basically install this style and anything else like that basically straight off the bat for whatever dumb reasons I feel like. And then I read the docs dark theme and then Wikipedia material dark. So I've also set this to apply to Infogalactic as well. So I think what most people use user scripts for a lot of times is to uh, increase quality of life things or for theming. So uh, for quality of life, that might include skipping ads automatically or clicking the automatically clicking the skip button when it's technically not available. And that's basically what the YouTube skip oh, script does, is do that. And basically, like I said, if you're using like Chromium or Firefox, then you can install Violent Monkey pretty easily. Oh, like right here, you just go get started and then it's got your different methods of installing you can go to the github releases <clears throat> i don't know why edge needs a separate plugin thing but it has that but yeah you can sit here and go through everything oh i mean the dashboard's pretty simple a, a decent dark theme would be nice but you know it works for what it is. I hardly open this thing anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, um, install Violent Monkey. Check out like the YouTube quality of life stuff or things like that. And that's kind of how you can block block autoplay and all that other thing, all that other stuff, and add all kinds of cool things to websites that you want to or retheme things. So, if you found this helpful, if you were looking for something slightly different, or whatever, if you found something that helped you, I guess, but yeah, don't hesitate to leave a comment, a like, whatever, suggest other things maybe, and I will see you all later.